Hi everybody, welcome back to Kid Friendly Videos. Thanks again for dropping by and watching the videos. And stick around because today we're going to be reading your comments of your favorite scenes from Cars 1, 2, and 3. And if you're first time visiting here, what we're doing is we're taking Pixar Cars Cars and we're making our own custom die casts. For example, we took, um, this is Chick Hicks actually, and we turned him into High Impact. And we took uh, Ramon and turned him into Sig Alert. This is actually leakless, and look at him, I really beat him up. I turned him into Pile Up. And over here we have an old pickup truck that I found, and I turned it into Taco. And yesterday we made, believe it or not, Dr. Damage. And today we just uploaded Arby. He's actually Fillmore. And look over here, this is actually a homemade Chester Whippa filter. It's actually sand on his paint. Here, listen. I made that with heavy paint and some sand. And people have been asking me for a long time to paint Mac the same color as Dynaco Cruiser Mirrors so he can be Cruiser's Holler. Now I painted them Primer Mac a few weeks ago and I haven't decided what to do, but everybody's been asking me to make Cruiser's Holler out of Mac. So what I did was I looked up on the internet and sure enough there is actually a Holler, Cruiser's Holler. He's got a yellow body, a blue hat, Dynaco on the side and the other side and 51 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking the stickers off of Lightning McQueen, I mean off of Mac right now, like I'll peel all these off, and I'll put on my new stickers which I just happened to download and print off, look, see, Dynaco, 51, I'll put them on when I'm done. So let's get the paint ready and I'll peel these stickers off and we'll come right back. There, all the stickers are off. I left his eyes on and I'll try and paint around that. So this is all yellow, actually the mirrors are painted silver, so I'll paint them silver. And the grill is black with the white on the outside. I'll do that. And the headlights are white. And the bumper is yellow. Everything else is yellow except for a few things. And the smile is white. So this might take a while. So I'm gonna get the yellow paint out first and paint the whole body yellow. Then I'll do his hat blue. Now the paint I have is actually bright yellow, but Dynaco yellow is kind of a, a little darker. So I'm gonna mix some black in with the yellow paint and see how it goes. Put some yellow, it's gonna require a lot of paint. See how bright that is? I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of black in it. Don't take very much. Try that first, we'll stir it up. Man, it doesn't take much. I think I ruined it. Oh yeah, I really blew it there. More yellow, okay, put some more yellow in. A lot more. <laughs> okay, we'll try that again. Maybe I should have used brown, I don't know. Might have been better. Let's have a look at that and I'll compare it. No, not even close. Well, that was a big fail. So I'm gonna try yellow again. I just threw that away. And a tiny bit of brown, not black. So I'm gonna use brown paint instead. Just half a drop if I can get it in there. Small little bit. There, now see what kind of difference that makes. Stir that up. See if I can get the exact color. Sometimes this takes a bit of work to get the right color, folks, but it's worth it. That's much better. See that? Now, I hope I have enough paint to paint Mac there. I don't think, I don't think I do. Where's my Mac? Where's my color? Yeah, that's pretty close. I need to add more paint though to make enough. More yellow, okay. And another drop of brown. You guys done this at home yourself? There, I'll try that. Just a little bit more. Okay, Let's see how that works out. You can see the difference in color between the two paints. So that was a pretty neat color. All right. So, have you ever tried this? It takes a bit of experimentation sometimes to get it right. And there's a the color. That's pretty darn close. Okay, let's get ready to paint Mac. Okay, we'll start with the grill first. I mean the bumper first up front. I may have to put two coats, I don't know. And I'll come back and do a smile when we're all done. I'm getting some white. And um, it, now I'm going to let you uh, listen to the comments from people that sent in about their favorite moments in Cars 1, 2, and 3. This is a really good one here. This is from Little Harky. And he first of all, he said my video looks very accurate. He loved it. And what about tried to make a race car Sally? Hmm, that'd be interesting. And he says my favorite scenes from Cars 3 was definitely the Demolition Derby. When watching with 3D glasses, it felt like I was crashing and smashing with all the racers. Oh, I, I didn't see it in 3D, so I guess that part would have been pretty nice. For Cars 2, my favorite scene was definitely Mater and McQueen messing around when McQueen just came back from winning his fourth Piston Cup. I remember that at the start of the show, they were kicking tires back and forth and, 
He's carrying on like two old friends. And from Cars 1, Little Harky says, I loved it when McQueen and all his friends were cruising down the newly built road. Yeah, that was a very good scene too. I remember I had the music, Life is a Dream, and they're all, you know, going down right slow and dancing to the music. Okay, and then we have one here from Ozzy. Hi, Kid Friendly Videos. Another great custom. My favorite of your customs, however, is still currently Bill. My favorite scenes from Cars 1, 2, and 3 are in Cars 1 when McQueen is in the Rusty's tent and he's forced to give a speech to all the Rusty cars. Oh, I remember that. He's like, oh, do I have to? In Cars 2 is when Mater mistakes wasabi for pistachio ice cream at the Tokyo party. Yeah, memory set kept saying, give me more, give me more. Don't be so, you know, give me lots of it. And in Cars 3, the Demolition Derby, especially because of my favorite character of the car franchise, Miss Fritter, and when fair game, the taxi swears and it is replaced with a honking sound. I don't remember that. I'll have to go watch it again. Okay, here's another one. This is from Random Man. My favorite scene from Cars 1 is the final race. From Cars 2 was the first race. And Cars 3 is a demolition derby. Please shout out. Okay, Random Man, I gave you a shout out. That was a great comment. Thanks a lot. This one here is from Akishius there. Uh, they say, I love the scene is when McQueen is found. I guess that's when the Doc went and called up the media and, and then everybody shows up. We found Lightning McQueen! We found Lightning McQueen! That was a good one, actually. And here's one from Naji Attila. My favorite scene from Cars 3 is when there's a crash at the Florida 500. And my favorite scene from Cars 2 is when there was a big crash in the race. And my favorite scene from Cars 1 is when Chick Hicks caused a big crash. Oh yeah, he caused a big crash at the very end, didn't he? That's right, and that's where my favorite scene was when Lightning stopped and backed up and helped his old friend Doc go across the finish line. And here's one from Matthew the Roblox Man. Hi, kid friendly videos, and my favorite scene in Cars was when Lightning was backwards driving and in Cars 2 when Francesco got frustrated with McQueen. I remember that, that's for sure. That was pretty good. And here's one from Cars and Planes Unboxing King. My favorite scene from Cars 1 was the tractor tipping scene. And my favorite scene from Cars 2 was Rod Torkline versus Graham and Acer. And my favorite scene from Cars 3 was the demolition derby scene because it had Todd the Pizza Planet truck. Yes, only for three frames in the whole video. That was a pretty good scene. Okay, I'll come back in a little while for the second coat on. Make it nice and rich and then we'll work on the hash and the other parts. Okay, that dried pretty good, but it's pretty messy, so I'm going to put another coat on. And this time I'm going to add a little tiny speck of deep red to the yellow paint. See if I can get a little bit of a, a, different, a different color to it. Just one little drop to see what happens. I don't want to throw the whole thing away. There, we'll mix that up now and see how it looks. I don't think it'll make much difference that little bit, but we'll see. No, it's not making much difference. That's okay, though. I kind of like the color as it was. I just want to see. Actually, it's a little bit better, a little closer to the color. Look, that's pretty close. Okay, so let's um, put the second coat on. A little more. It came nice, but it didn't come rich enough for me. Okay, let's get the second coat on now. Yeah. See, it's going on much better now, the second coat. And I'm using a, a smaller brush too, so I won't make it much of a mess. I have to put the blue hat on eventually and um, do the mirrors silver. This is the last coat of the of this color yellow. That's gonna go on nice. Yeah, I didn't even actually know there was a holler for cruise until everybody kept asking for, do cruise holler, do cruise holler. So I looked it up and sure enough, beautiful looking truck too. So if I ever see it in the store for sale, I'll probably buy it. I can use it in lots of videos. But right now there's gonna be new cruises holler for hauling cruise around. And I'm just gonna use the car carrier as the, as the trailer. I'm not gonna bother. Um, buying a trailer for it. I have a car carrier, that Mac, like Max car carrier. I can use that. That's good. Nice. Okay, I'll do the mirror silver later. And the bumper, I'll do that all yellow. And then I'll come back later and put in the headlights and the smile. I have to paint the grill too. The grill rim is going to be white and inside the grill is going to be black. Okay, nice. So you guys have been watching our videos. Which one's your favorite? So far, I mean, I got lots of favorites because I did them all, but um, do you like uh, Pile Up, or do you like Taco, or do you like um, Zebra Mater, Zebra Doc Hudson, Radiator Springs Doc Hudson, or the Delinquent Road Hazards? I did two of them already. There's two more to be done. I have to do um, 
DJ has to be done yet. He's still primer and boost has to be done. I got lots of suggestions, but I haven't decided yet. And as I said, it took a long time to convince me to do uh, Mac and Cruise colors. And after seeing the actual truck, the picture of it, I said, wow, that looks great. If I can get the stickers and everything glued on really nice, it'll be perfect. Okay, yeah, that's good. I'll try that later once it all dries. Stickers. I'm gonna have one more fender here to do and probably the door and that'll be done. The yellow will be done. If I have to put three coats on, I'll have to come back when it dries in a few minutes and decide whether to put the third coat on because it's going on nice, but uh, I'd like to have it perfect. It's gonna be hard to get the gray back in there, that's for sure. Yeah, I might have to put some more third coat on some of it just to get it really nice and deep. Okay, that looks a lot better, the second coat. Missed a piece over here. Leave that dry and we'll come back in a little while. I want to make sure it's nice and deep before I move on to the next stage, which is the blue hat. Okay, that looks nice. Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes when it dries and we'll work on the rest. Okay, I'm going to try putting a third coat on top of this just to make it look really rich and deep to color before I move on to the next stage. It's kind of a, not quite dry yet, but that's okay. I'm going to put it on thick enough so that I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's going to look really nice. Especially when I put that funny blue hat on. It's gonna look great. Not on me, of course, but on the car. Okay, now let's see the bumper. I hope I'm getting all this in the shot, guys. I know I'm trying to watch this, the camera and paint the truck at the same time. Sometimes I miss and get the camera out of the way. So bear with me. Okay, here comes the hair part under the eyes and the engine hood. It's a big hood, it's a big truck. Yeah, turn it around, get this side done. Pretty cool. You guys keep sending your ideas who you want me to do next. Um, I don't have, I know, not short of running out of cars, that's for sure. I still have lots of other cars that I can do. And some of the next gen races, I didn't tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Lightning McQueen. I just um, bought a brand new Jackson Storm, I mean. And I'm gonna take Jackson Storm and turn him into next gen Lightning. I'm gonna paint him primer gray. Then I'm putting a nice couple of coats of thick red paint on, on, on Jackson, put number 95 and make him the new next gen Lightning McQueen for Cars 4 that we all hope is coming. I presume it's going to come because they got too much money invested in Cars Land in California, so they have to make Cars 4. And it's a good franchise. Cars 3 was great. Cars 2 was good. Um, not many liked it. I liked it. But Cars 1, of course, was the best. I'm going to look at that out there. I think I'll start the whole thing. And as long as Cars Land is out there, I wish they'd make a cartoon about Cars because it'd be on all the time then, but I think people watch a lot on the internet too. Uh, it's still very popular, the videos I make. Everyone loves cars. Actually, that came really nice. So I'm gonna let that dry for a, quite a while. Then I'll come back and put on the uh, the white grill maybe, and this blue hat, and maybe his mirrors. And then I'll put the stickers on at the end. Okay, let's do that for a while. Okay, we're back, and now I'm gonna paint the, uh, that's pretty dry actually. I'm gonna paint the hat of Cruz Ramirez's collar. Nice, beautiful blue. It's exact color blue is in the picture, so I'm doing pretty good there. I'll put a couple of coats on this too to make sure it's exactly right. Oh, nice. A little sloppy mess there. Okay, good. And I'll see if I can get this without making too much of a mess. It's not that easy. I still have to do the mirrors and the, the bumper. I have to bump with the smile and his grill. Do that nice white in a few minutes. The grill trim and the grill itself is black. That's going to be pretty good if I can get through this quickly. So far, so good. I got the stickers all ready to go on. All I have to do is paint the area again to make it nice and wet, and I'll stick the sticker on. I just printed them off uh, off the internet, so it's going to look pretty good, I hope. Well, wow, that's coming nice, guys. Um, check it out first of all. So far, so good. And I got the stickers ready. I'm going to leave that dry and put another coat of blue on that shortly. But first I want to paint the grill black. Because I'm very intricate. Gotta be careful not to make a mess. I used another another brush. I got a bunch of brushes, as you can probably tell. Thick and thin. There's a whole bunch of them at the dollar store. They're only cheap. Not even a dollar each. They're like five for a dollar. Oh, that looks good. This is gonna be one of the best ones ever, folks. So. I just can't wait to see it finished. And thanks for everybody who recommended Cruz's Holler at a, at a Mac, because I never would have thought to do, do it, that's for sure. But I'm pretty sure these will show up in some videos pretty soon to finish with it. OK, 
Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, now I'll put some white trimmer on that in a few minutes when that dries. That'll look really nice. And then I'll paint the mirrors a nice silver gray. I should do that now, I guess. I'm very careful not to get it on anything else. Nice. Okay, now the other side. And then it'll be the uh, smile, which is white, and the white around the, the, the grill. Nice, guys, nice, nice, nice. Wow, that looks pretty good. Okay, leave that dry and come back in a few minutes put the white on. Okay, that dried pretty good. Now I have another coat of blue on top of his hat. I mean, on his hat. This will really bring out the color. And then I'm going to put the sticker on right now, actually. The number 51, which I downloaded and printed off the internet. Okay. It's going to come really nice, I think. Nice job. I'm trying to come up with an idea for tomorrow. Another video. Not quite sure which one to do tomorrow. Always looking for ideas. Keep them coming. I might read it tonight and make the make the video tomorrow. And remember to keep sending in your suggestions. I mean your favorite scene ideas, and I'll read them and I'll give you a shout out if you send me a nice couple of paragraphs or something. Tell me what your favorite scene is, and I'll say this is from so and so, which I did tonight. Same thing. There. Look at that, boy. That's great. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the sticker on. Okay. Watch this here. I'm going to. There's a sticker number 51. I'm gonna pick it up. Wet the front right there with paint. I'm going to install number 51 right on top. Whoops, I got my fingerprint right on the middle of it. Whoops. Let's see if I can get that off. I don't think so. I think it's finished now. Once it gets on there, that's it. Oh well, that doesn't look too bad. Paint on both sides of it. Nice, eh? Okay, now the stickers on the side, Dynaco. Now I got two of those stickers right here, look. I'm gonna put one on each side. I need the yellow brush for that. There's the yellow brush. I'll put that right here. A little yellow right there, and I'll put the sticker on, on top of that. Okay, here goes. That came nice too. Now the other side, I'll have to stick that on a little harder on my finger. The other side. Okay, I'll wet this here with the paint. I think I'll even wet the sticker this time. A little bit of blue paint. A little bit of yellow paint on the back of the sticker might make it stick better for future reference. Okay. Nice. Wow. Now I want to put some white paint on the outline of the grill. Paint's all ready. Now be very careful. Actually, I'll do a smile first. I don't know what the name of Cruz Ramirez's holler is. Can somebody tell me the name of Cruz's holler? I know it's not Mac, but this is going to be Mac, obviously, with Cruz's outfit on. So I'm just going to put white all around here. Sorry, I have to apologize again if my camera doesn't stay in the right place of the video all the time. It's really hard to, to focus on talking and painting and holding this in my bare hand and get the painting done. This is almost done, folks. I think I'll finish in this here take right now. Put that around there. There's nothing left to do, I don't think. Oh, that's careful. Wow, that came really nice. There's no other stickers to go on. That's it, actually. Let's let's clean up around here and have a look at it. Well, folks, there is a picture of Cruz Ramirez holler. Now, like I said before, if you know the name of the holler, send it in, because I don't have any idea. Now, here is a picture of Mac completed as the holler for Cruz Ramirez. And once again, thanks to the person who told me to do that. I really appreciate it. And here is the holler we're going to use. And here is... Cruz Ramirez Dynaco. Thanks for watching, folks. If you have any more suggestions, like I said, send them in. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you tomorrow.